Right, we're back. Wait, um, I was going to say Abe there. Uh, we're back. We're actually in Clank too. I got that skill point. Uh, special, no special skill points. Smash and grab. There we go. Got it. To view missions still available, press select or R three to access your map. Then. Press um, still can't buy that. So we're on to the next bit where we go down here and collect things. Collect things? No, um, get another gadget like the one I've got now. Um, oh, I didn't buy any ammo, damn it. Oh well. Do without, I suppose. We'll survive. Because there are boxes out there. And we can get more. For free. Uh, yep. Come, weird Loch Ness monster thing. Ammo boxes up here. You've acquired nanotech. Your health has improved. Yay. Okay, do everything in <laughs> if it's organic or not, it still drops. If it's inorganic or organic, it still drops b bolts if you destroy it. Could be a lamppost, could be a giant snail. It's never explained why. We just need money. And golden bolts are the currency in this universe. And normal bolts, nuts and bolts are the currency in the first game. I think it switches back to that in the third Ratchet and Clank. I think, anyway. Up we go! There we go. Right, uh, who do we go to now? We go to him. Ah! Don't want to fall in the goo. Ah. Oh no, I'm wrong. So you. There we go. Go on you, and then on you. Getting all kerfuddled. Uh, the more money, the better. I completely missed anything, I think, there. Oh, there we go. When you get health, you kill everything in the vicinity. Oh, the gun didn't level up. I thought it would. Guns and health can level up. Oh, we've got another gravity bomb. That means whatever I kill next should level it up. Should, I think. Maybe two kills. Two. Giant Venus fly traps. Just. Who builds a supermarket here? I mean, really. Look at the mess. Look at everything. Down we go. Oh, here we go. We'll get our gadget. If everyone could take their seats, we can proceed with today's demonstration. First, I'll need a volunteer. Anyone? Excellent. Your name, sir? Ratchet. Hey! 
And there you have it, the Megacorp tractor beam in action. Let's give it up for our volunteer. Sir, how about taking advantage of our show special? Uh, Thank you, sir. You won't everyone wants something for something else. For bolts. The tractor beam moves small and medium sized objects which have glowing orange targets like these. Press oh, wait, 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 wait. Columns so you can scale the cliff. I don't want to scale the cliff just yet. I'm going to go here. Because I can get this. Flies back, by the way. Oh no, 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 I jump off the wrong side. Stupid fly. Did I, have I still got it? Eh, uh, whatever. First death of the <laughs> playthrough. Uh, stupid fly. Oh, that's us done with this level. So we have to come back a wee bit later when I get magnet boots. It's been a while since I've played this, but I still remember quite a bit. To the point that I remember pretty much everything because I've played it so many times in the past. If anyone's wondering what the... Um those big shiny bolts do you use them for I think it's either no it's a uh, weapon mods you use them for so it's handy to know where they are and collect them yes. May I help you? no I said Ah, not now. My headphones are running out of charge. Must act quickly. This must be incredibly interesting, but yeah. I knew I should have thingy them before. Ah, no! There we go, right. can be traded for ship upgrades. Okay, so the platinum bolts are weapon mods then. Raritanium. It still sounds so much better than unobtainium. And it is an insomniac game, so it gets to be a bit stupid in its naming of rare materials. <coughs> You can only get rare titanium in space battle, by the way. And I think you can get it from destroying enemies and those ice things. Nope. Oh. The big ones, though. The tiny ones, I don't think you can get them from. Or the chance is a lot less. Enemy fighters defeated. Proceeding to the Maktar Nebula. No, there's Raritanium to be hurt. No, no. Right. I know what the skill point. Some of the skill points for this next one are as well. Actually, I know what they all are. 
There's four skill points to be had in this place. I can get two of them. Three of them if I'm very lucky. Four of them if I have patience. One of them is to destroy everything. Which would be a lot better if I shot it. So. I can get this as I go along, so not that bad. Shooting everything. This, this helps because it gives you lots of money. Right, we've got the Crash Bandicoot uh, boxes now. The TNT ones blow up when you uh, bump into They get a countdown when you bump into them or shoot them. No, they blow up if you shoot them. If you bump into them or jump on them. Then. Start the countdown. Ah. There we go, a new one kill would do it. New weapon upgraded. New weapons can be upgraded with frequent use. Yes. Can also help me. One of the the other one of the other skill points is to get a jackpot on one of these slot machines, but it takes forever and I can't be arsed. I could do that off screen if I felt up to it. I will try and point out as many skill points as I can remember and get them during the course of this. That way I'm providing some sort of miniature walkthrough somehow. So if I can't get them, I will point them out as they come by. There we go. Right. Into this limousine for about two minutes. There we go. I see. Ow. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> Oh, I'll get the destroy everything later. Ah. Uh. How unlucky was that? I die and then I get a health thing. Why? I didn't notice it was a thingy next to me. A thingy? Yeah. Ah. Uh. TNT box. Explosive crate would probably be more a thingy because TNT is Crash Bandicoot. Another game I used to play quite a lot. The third one and the second one. And the driving one. Not so much the first one or Crash Bash. Crash Bash was fun but yeah. The first PS2 one was good, I wish I still had that. If they kept going with that with the Crash games, I probably would still be buying them, but... Uh. And Spyro itself, yeah, Spyro. Another game by Insomniac and similar to Crash Bandicoot, and it just... Oh, oh the horror. I'm one of those old school Spyro players who just despises the new games. Maybe Spyro, but it's not Spyro. Maybe it's just the era of games I grew up with. Because I'm on that weird cusp of just not quite, like... Not quite Sega, but not uh, just before PS1 and all that. Oh, there's a platinum bolt up there. 
If I had left the bo oh no, I still can get it. With a bit of luck. There we go. I was going to say I probably need to come back to that one and get use Clank because Clank has a jetpack thing. But we got it anyway. Yeah, I'm on that weird cusp of just on the, just as uh, cartridge gaming went on its way out and disc drive games started to become more prominent. Disc drive console games anyway. Because well, PC is always disc drive. No. Ow, that was stupid. Let's use this while standing in amongst all these explosive boxes, shall we? Yeah, that makes so much sense. Come on, well, let's level up before I get in there. No, it won't. Never know, I might. If this keeps up. Come on, level up, level up, level up, level up. Ah. Oh, yes. <laughs> the last enemy, I got it to level up. Excellent. Oh, I still just short of the blitz gun, okay. Is everyone ready for tonight's mega battle? Introducing from nowhere in particular, this guy. <laughs> if he can make it past all of our gladiators, he'll take on this brand new electrolyzer. If he can't make it past our gladiators, he'll receive a consolation prize. Let the games begin! Easy. And I've only got two guns and it's still easy as anything. Oh, there we go. Everything dies. And I didn't even have to change gun there. Ladies and gentlemen, the first and, uh, well, only winner of the Gladiator Games, this guy. <laughs> Ta -da. You're now eligible for our championship series. Come back and fight again for big cash prizes. Yeah, big cash prizes. Choose a battle and win the prize. One of the other chat one of the other skill points is to kill chain blade with nothing but your wrench. So I think I'll do that because I think well he's a pushover. And I think I can do that before the time's out. Three minutes, that's what I'm gonna give myself. Easy. He, no. He is really easy. Come on. I'm expecting him to do something different yet. I know exactly what he's going to do, so... Yeah. Oh, 
got a little bit sloppy there. Should have given myself slightly less time. I think it's only took me about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. There we go. <clears throat> Of course I am. Right. We'll end it here before we do anything and I'll go in back into the arena, get kills and well I'll generally just get skill get the skill points for destroying everything in the area. That'll keep me busy for a wee while. So that's what's gonna happen off camera. Because no one wants to see me do that. Not unless you want to, but I'm preempting nobody wants to, so see you.